Don't plant anything just yet, no. right? Because Justin's here to talk about that. In for Erica tonight, we have a, a pretty nice day, first day of spring. Some good stuff and bad stuff, right? Yeah, everything is about three weeks late. Typically, the cherry blossoms are starting to bloom in early March, and they've already peaked by now, and they're just peaking now. Our weather pattern is about three weeks late, as typically we get some really mild days like 60 degree numbers in the early part of March, and then we have a wild fluctuation. Well, that's what we're seeing for this weekend. Tomorrow is back down into the upper 40s. We spiked to near 60 on Saturday, and then fall yet again for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Day. We're not leaving the low 30s, and oh yeah, there could be some snow to contend with. We'll talk about that more in detail in just a moment. Still holding on to 55 New Haven, 50 Wallingford and Hampton at 52. It's now down to 49 in Seymour. We've got some chillier, but not terribly harshly cold air back to the north and west. 44 Canaan, 46 Reading. It's 49 in New Canaan. Here's where the chillier air is. It's not that far away. 42 Royal Albany, and it's 40 right now in Vermont and Burlington at the freezing mark in Buffalo. That's our weather for tomorrow, the 40s that are right now to our north and west. All right, here are some reasons to keep an eye on and to really watch closely Tuesday and Wednesday. We've been seeing a consistent track for the past couple of days amongst not one, but several major weather models. And when you see that type of consistency from several different models this far out, it's reason to really pay attention. The last thing, it's climatology. When we look back, some of the largest snowstorms in southern New England happen in late March and early April because they come from the south. They bring tropical moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. It comes like a steam engine all the way up the eastern seaboard with a lot of firepower. So we have to keep an eye on this for Tuesday and Wednesday. And here are the tracks that we're looking for. And all of these tracks would be snow to varying degrees. The Canadian and European, if these verify, and the Canadian has been one of the most consistent, accurate models this season in Connecticut. That would be a lot closer to us. The America model, the GFS, would be closer to a um, near miss, what you would call it. But nevertheless, these are only about 100 to 150 miles apart. In the weather world, that's about an inch. That's very, very tiny. So this is something that we're going to have to keep an eye on. Forecast for tonight, 27 to 32 with clearing skies. 46 to 48, sun and clouds. It's cool and blustery. And here's your eight-day forecast. Look at that for Saturday, up to 60 degrees. And then we start to see the colder temperatures run in for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. That's where we keep an eye on. It's Tuesday into Wednesday. Right now, it's just the watching stage. And then we'll fine-tune the forecast as we get closer. We've got a lot of days to play with this. Hmm. Out to sea. I'm just going to sit I'm around with her. Out to sea. You know what? <laughs> My back has had enough shoveling. I think a lot of us are on that out to yeah, sea track. Exactly.